It's a four-way rumble. The United States versus Great Britain. Bill and Ben the Backman Twins versus Bill and Ben the Hornby Twins. Which of these top-rated toy trains in the USA and UK will win in a series of tests on style, strength and sheer power? From the outset, it is clear that the difference in size between the two ranges and their Bill and Ben models is something else. The basic body shell design for the twins, coming as they do from the older clockwork range of Hornby toys, is simply enormous. A comparison between the twins and the Hornby Percy, a character shown to be much larger than the twins in the television series, shows off just how massive these models are. Don't be fooled by the use of standard Hornby valve gear or wheels. The Percy model uses a different motor and gear assembly, the Bill and Ben model sharing their chassis with the Hornby Toby model. The Backman model is superior in this area, like the Percy model before it, recreating the valve gear and wheel sets of the TV series models beautifully. One rather distinct feature of the models are their faces, which on the Hornby models are wholly identical. Put next to each other, it is very difficult to tell which is Bill and which is Ben without looking at their nameplates. For anyone who has ever watched the Thomas and Friends TV series closely, the faces of these mischievous little engines were not identical, each engine, despite being one of a pair, retaining an individual look. This is where the Backman model scores extremely highly. The two engines have different faceplates, albeit sharing the exact same eye mechanism. Bill's eyes are, however, rather wide open compared to Ben's softer, more jovial look. The Backman models have enclosed cabs like all the other tank engines in the range, whereas the Hornby models have an open cab. This is, however, not a positive thing, as they have no detail inside, unlike the Hornby Thomas or Percy models, and their inner workings can be seen quite clearly through the doors. Interestingly, the length of the tanks and the Hornby and Backman models are exactly the same, but the length of their cabs are very different. Whereas with the Backman model, Bill and Ben look perfectly proportioned, the tank-to-cab relationship on the Hornby model looks a little awkward. The nameplates and Sodor China Clay Company markings are crisply printed on both sets of models, but the Hornby model's lettering looks a little off in both font and size. Just like their book and TV series counterparts, the yellow lettering on the off-yellow paint scheme is barely readable from a distance. This is perhaps one area where I would have liked both ranges to have used a bright yellow for the lettering, or perhaps a cream shade, in order that the lettering could actually be read more easily. Unlike the Backman model, the Hornby model's running plate is not painted white as per the TV series prototype. The couplings on both sets of models are set into holes in the buffer beams, though the Backman model's couplings leave a disappointing gaping yaw in the centre. The Hornby front buffer beam is much better in this respect, with a rather elegant arrangement of front coupling and clip arrangement to the bottom. It also has the better representation of a coupling hook, a design quirk on these models, and this is shared by the Hornby Percy model too. Perhaps the most bizarre part of this review was looking for the whistle arrangement on the Hornby models. They don't have whistles, just a rather peculiar shape of moulded coal in its place. The Backman models fare better here, with separately fitted whistles standing proud in the centre of the coal bunkers. From behind, the attention to detail on the Backman models is shown once again, and the plain, unpainted rear door and brown panels are left out altogether on the Hornby model. Overall, it's clear the Hornby pair suffer from gigantism, and the Backman pair are small and perfectly formed. Now we move on to the test of strength. In the haulage capacity test, each model has to pull a train of coaches, the standard coach being used for this test, the ubiquitous Hornby Mark I coach. The weight of one Hornby Mark I coach is 5 ounces, roughly 140 grams. The winner is the engine that pulls the heaviest load. The Hornby Bill and Ben models weighed in at 4.2 ounces, that's 120 grams, whereas the Backman Bill and Ben's weight were both 3.5 ounces, that's 100 grams exactly. Each model was able to pull eight coaches individually without slipping, although the top speed of the Backman models was severely restricted, whereas the Hornby models bounced around at their top speed with their heaviest load. The next test was the tug of war. The tug of war utilises a specially made double track line, where two locos will pull and push against each other to see which is stronger. This track has been wired up to allow the models to run on 16 volts together at the same time. It's a best of three head to head matchup today. Bill versus Bill. Ben versus Ben. 
Bill and Ben versus Bill and Ben. Unfortunately, it's a 3-0 drubbing. The heavier, higher-geared might of the Hornby Bill and Ben was just too much for the lighter Backman models. Now for the final test. A test of speed. time trial test consists of a race around the Copley Hill Circuit, a generic train set oval. Each model will be timed speeding around the Copley Hill Circuit, the winner putting in the fastest time. We've got four models to go through today, so here's a montage of the models doing their laps. Now for the times. The Hornby Bill and Ben did their laps in 7.5 and 7.8 seconds respectively. The Backman Bill and Ben did their laps in 8.9 and 9.6 seconds. So the current leaderboard is as follows. It just goes to show that not all twins are identical. The two Backman models having 0.7 of a second difference between their two times. We move on now to the recommended retail price of the two models for 2011. The recommended retail price for the Backman Bill and Ben models is $64, which is £37 and 36 pence. The Hornby Bill and Ben models have been discontinued. Although they have the ingredients right, with a decent mechanism, and the shape and colours were pretty much spot on, the sheer size of the Hornby twins can be considered a significant factor in their downfall. They're just too big, even for the little hands they're designed for. Which means the only way you can get either of the Hornby models is through second-hand websites. However, I wouldn't. The Backman models are terrific. They are perfectly formed, smooth runners which have bags of character. They are another contender for best models throughout the two ranges. In the last episode, Team Thomas won after the old iron crashed out. Can Team Thomas win against the quadruplets? It's Team Thomas versus Team Twin. It's amazing, even with the might of two extra engines more, Team Twin just can't take on the might of the traction tyre Thomas. Is it going to be a draw? Wait, who's this? It's Sir Topham Hat, And he's got a copy of the rule book. Apparently you can only have a maximum of two engines on a team. Team Twin are disqualified! Team Thomas wins! So on that bombshell it's time to end. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.